Good morning, good morning. Uh, just want to let you know I love you. Uh, I record as Holy Spirit gives me messages for you that have maybe subscribed or want to subscribe. There's a red button down below. Feel free to subscribe. If you want to comment, just scroll down. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you're feeling um, about these teachings. Uh, I teach according to my understanding and not... Uh, it's not perfect is what I want to say, but... Uh, God, as God reveals things to me because I need the word just as much as you. This lesson is for me just as much as it is for you. Um, so if you would look in your Bibles or maybe just go along with my reading. Um, in, in Romans 15, Paul says, We then who are strong ought to bear the scruples of the weak and not to please ourselves, let each of us please his neighbor for his good, leading to edification. So just in those two verses, I'm going to carry on a little bit further, but uh, just want to enlighten you on these two verses. Paul says, we then who are strong. So he's talking about those that maybe have planted roots uh, in Christ, maybe have a current relationship with Christ. Now, maybe do have a current relationship with Christ or are passionate about their relationship with Christ. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through Him. So, bearing that in mind, I want you to realize that if your relationship is strong, your foundation is in the Word of God, He will enlighten you you will be the strong one that those that are weak may come want to come alongside, or maybe you want to come alongside somebody who's weak. Weak may, not meaning that they are uh, physically weak, but those that are weak maybe in, in Christ are new to Christ. Those that maybe uh, just don't have, uh, let's say they don't have um, enough confidence in themselves. Maybe they're going through some, some trials and you just need to lift them up. So, but it's not to please ourselves, Paul says. So we're not doing this so that we can gain points or that we can uh, show others about uh, how strong we are. It's not about that. It's about just building people up. He says... Let each of us please his neighbor for his good. Not to please yourself, but to please him for his good. Who is your neighbor? Who isn't your neighbor? Everybody needs to be lifted up, even those who don't walk in Christ. Those who uh, just maybe have some self-doubt about who Christ is and what He's done for us, we're to be lifting up everyone around us with edification. Leading to edification. Not pointing out, oh, you're wrong here. Uh, you need to repent and be baptized. It's not about that. Yes, we do have to do those things, but what He's, he's saying is, is lift them up. Tell them how how awesome Christ thinks they are. And maybe, you know, this is the way that Christ would have us to do things rather than saying, you're wrong, you're living in sin, and that's wrong. No, we come alongside them and walk with them and talk with them. Paul goes on, he says, for even Christ did not please himself. So Christ said it's, a, it, it's not my will, but... It is God's will. It is not me, but it is the Father in me. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And that should be our, our aspect and our outlook. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Christ did not do it for his own edification, but the edification of God. Remember, 
what he said uh, to the Pharisees. He says, you go out and pray on corners to be seen. And that's my interpretation, my under, not my understanding, but this is my uh, picture is what, what he said to them. You go out and try and please others, but you know what? It's not about that. You're a hypocrite if you do that because you don't live it. You know what? I do the best I can. I do things not to be seen, but hopefully to be showing others about Christ. I have my faults. I have maybe uh, some sin or a stumble. We all do. But we need to turn to Christ and help and see how much He loves us and wants to walk alongside us. And that means that we even have to look to our neighbor or our friends that, that are walking with Christ. It doesn't mean that we can't look to them for advice because hopefully their advice comes from Christ. So, he says, for whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and the comfort of Scripture, might have hope. We need to be patient with ourselves. We need to be patient with those who are trying to teach us. They're not trying to poke and prod and say, you need to do this, you need to do that. Hopefully they're pointing to Scripture and pointing out to, in Scripture, hey, this is what God says. And it's not a bunch of do-nots. It's about, about how much hope is in Scripture. How much hope it is. So, so those of us that are strong come alongside those who are weak. Lift them up, edify them, show them that there's hope in Scripture. Don't point to ourselves, but point to Christ. When, we, when I end up telling people a story about the opportunities that God gave me, about witnessing, I say, but it's not me. It's, it's not about me. I'm not bragging about myself, but I'm bragging that God gave me the opportunity to glorify Him. Opportunity is out there to to lift somebody up, but we have to do it. Okay? He's, he, so we need to be patient. Both those that are lifting up the weak and those that are weak. So he says that that we may listen, that we may have hope, right? But now may the God of patience comfort and grant you to be like-minded toward one another. So when we go come alongside our neighbor and we, we try to be like-minded, we try to say, hey, listen, remember it's not about us, but it's about Christ. Okay? Glorify God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Therefore receive one another, just as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Christ received everybody who came to him. Remember when he went to went to Galilee and, and not one person was untouched by Christ. He accepted people for who they were. He approached prostitutes. He approached lepers. He approached tax collectors who were thieves, pretty much. He approached you with love. That's why he bore our sins on Calvary, right? Now I say that Jesus Christ has become a servant. To the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made to the fathers. And that the Gentiles may glorify God for his mercy as it was written. Now I want to go on to verse 13. I'm skipping from 9 to 13. He says, Now may the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
So we lean on not ourselves, but Holy Spirit, who God has given us at the day of, uh, of Pentecost. And in the day that Jesus Christ had risen, the church gathered and Holy Spirit descended down upon them. They spoke in, in foreign language, tongues. Uh, but I want you to know that God has given us hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So we're not looking at to ourselves. We're relying on Holy Spirit to teach and guide us. Okay? Um, I know that you desire something better. I know that you desire to please, to, to not please your neighbor per se, but to please God and which pleases your neighbor. Okay? So, I want you to know that we need to come alongside those who are weak. We need to rely on Holy Spirit. We need to recognize that there's hope. There's a better way. Hey, I love you guys. Uh, let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for those who watch. I thank you that you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I Am, the one who instills love, hope, peace, and understanding in us. The scriptures for our learning that we may glorify you. The scripture is for the those who are, are strong, that they may reveal the mysteries in which you have given unto them through the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you and I praise you for all you do, Father. It's in Jesus Christ's name that I pray. I lift up uh, my brothers and sisters who need to, to know that there's hope out there. I lift up my brothers and sisters who just are, are falling, feel they're falling short. Father, I pray that we recognize that we're not falling short because of you. We're falling short because of ourselves. We're falling short because of the enemies, those in which we rely on that aren't walking in the truth, the light. Father, for those who have low self-esteem, lift them up today, Father. For those who are struggling because uh, maybe some anxiety, addictions, uh, depression, Father, I lift them up to you. Those that are dealing with the loss of loved ones, I lift them up to you, Father. We thank you. We praise you in the mighty name of Christ. Amen. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Be strong. Walk in the word.